In the past, we'd have to hard code all sorts of translational mappings between the different source and target layers, but PocketGrok lets us simply tap AI on the shoulder and say, hey, figure this out. Pocket grok, a grok in your pocket. Somebody at work was complaining that they were told to fill out one form, and it turned out they should have filled out a different form. They had to redo everything, manually. Seemed to me like a good opportunity to solve their problem and walk you through my start-to-finish process for leveraging our various Grok tools to quickly create software solutions. I'll start by using the Grok CLI to set up our development environment. Now I'll describe my project to Claude. Incidentally, all the setup info for this Pocket Grok project can be found on the GitHub repository under the SRC directory. If I'd been smarter, I would have revised this prompt using my Gromped plugin by simply right-clicking on all this text and allowing the LLM at Grok to refactor it for me. But, as many of you know, I'm not all that bright. No, the heck you say? How'd you get out of the basement? Laundry chute. Well, at least you finally used it. At this point, Claude has finished writing our initial programming code. It's just a matter of creating the files and plopping them into Visual Studio code. Luckily, Claude reminded me to do a pip install of Pocket Grok, which is kind of embarrassing since demonstrating Pocket Grok is the whole reason I wanted to make this video in the first place. From here, it's just a matter of following Claude's instructions for setting up the configuration environment. Then we run the program, show Claude the errors, apply the fixes, run it again, lather, rinse, repeat. Here I'm asking ChatGPT to poop out a couple test documents. The first is a populated source document, and the second is a similar but different target document. In the past, we'd have to hard code all sorts of translational mappings between the different source and target layers, but PocketGrok lets us simply tap AI on the shoulder and say, hey, figure this out. After about 20 minutes of trial and error, well, let me show you the last trial that had an error. The AI was doing the translating properly, but because of the format of its returned JSON, our target document was remaining blank. Like always, I begged Claude to fix it, and it did. I love a happy ending. So do I, my friend. I... wait. We're still talking about software, right? Pocket Rock.